Back live here on Bearcats TV, a winning debut here for the UC women this year. Chris Labar with Jamel Elliott, great performance. What, what did the second half turn around? What led to that turnaround? You know what? That first half, we was getting every shot we wanted. You know, we was pressing, um, the, pressing it a little bit, you know, a little too anxious. We had, wasn't able to finish the baskets that we usually finish. Second half, we regained our composure. We took a deep breath, and we was able to make our shots in the second half. Um, Credit to St. Francis, though. You know, they came out. You know, they want to push it just as much as we do. They wanted to press us. We handled their press. They hung in there tough, but we knew this was going to be a game that we needed to grind out, and we did. Did they play a little better than maybe you expected? Well, you know, every game is uh, a game that we expect the best other team to play their best basketball. And if they don't, you know, we won't be uh, surprised. But we expected their best shot first game of the year. They were going to be hopped up, ready to go. But guess what? We were too. You know, we played an excited brand of basketball. I love the pace of our guys, the way we got up and down. I love the way we played together as a team. We knocked down our shots in the second half. And uh, we made free throws down the stretch when we needed to. How would you describe Anna Owens' play sensational 25? 12 and no turnovers. Well, I can't say enough about Anna. You know, she's our sophomore point guard, you know, all conference selection last year. Um, she came out and she played a good, solid all around game. You know, the, the stat that I'm most happy about, even though she almost had a triple double, well, she had zero turnovers. And that's unbelievable with a kid that handles the ball for us a lot. She has to break the press. She has to make the uh, decisions on where the ball goes next. She maintained her poise, her confidence, and that allowed us to stay steady. The rest of the four guys on the floor. And, um, you know, if we can play, get those types of games out of honor, Lovett came in and, and really stepped up in the second half. Bianca is always our energy guy, making great plays, especially on the defensive end. And um, I can't say enough about Brianna Moore. You know, she came in and was a huge spark off the bench in the second half. She finished plays. She rebounded the ball. She was poised out there. as a, I call her a freshman, even though she's a sophomore. She didn't play last year. And overall, we're 1-0, and we're going to get ready for the next one after we enjoy this one tonight. Plus seven on the glass, though. So how important was that offensively, I mean? Yeah, you know, we want to create second shots. You know, we want to get shots at the basket, you know, with enough time on the shot clock to give us some second shots. We have guys crashing the boards. Chelsea, you know, she does a good job of getting us second shots, getting guys getting there, not afraid to, you know, get dirty in, inside and, and, and really sacrifice their bodies. We had guys flying around on the floor, making hustle plays. And, you know, it's fun to coach, and hopefully it's fun to watch. One to know is a great start. Congrats, Coach. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You see one to know on the air back Wednesday right here 7 o'clock versus NKU. That'll do it from here. Our thanks to all the folks here at Bearcats TV Wednesday at 7 right here on Bearcats TV. Good afternoon.